top 10 places to visit in Istanbul. Istanbul is a beautiful city that is representative of Turkish culture and background. Istanbul is a surprisingly diverse city with a past dated to the Neolithic period. Hey everyone, this is Scooter from Mind Blowing Travels. In today's video, we are going to go over the top 10 best places to visit in Istanbul. Number 10. Kora Church The Kora Church Carrier Museum is both a memorial to the Byzantine Emperor Constantine the Great and a mosque located in Istanbul, Turkey. The Church of the Holy Guardian in Kora was designed in a classical Byzantine style. In the 16th century, under the Ottoman Empire, this Kora Church is interesting and unlike ordinary churches in Cyprus, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is one of the best examples of Byzantine architecture you could find anywhere in Istanbul. There are beautiful mosaics and incredible frescoes on the walls and ceilings of this church. Some people view this as one of the most important milestones in Western Christianity. You can enjoy the surviving pieces of medieval fortifications and marinette of the Ottoman houses. Number 9. Istanbul Archaeological Museum The Istanbul Archaeological Museums are a combination of three separate wide museums situated in the Emanoa Quarter of Istanbul, Turkey. The Istanbul Archaeological Museums are split into three museums. The number 1. Archaeological Museum in the main building. Number 2. Museum of the Ancient Orient. Number 3. Museum of Islamic Art in the tile kiosk. Whenever a person has a chance to visit an archaeological museum, he or she must go there. This can be termed as a secret treasure in Istanbul because of its impressive array of classical antiquities. The large museum offers an amazing history of the Ottoman Empire through excavations. The museums could not be more captivating. When you reach the museum, you will come across the Ancient Orient Museum on your left foot. It includes new and up-to-date information about different areas of history. The museum has a wide collection of ancient Egyptian art and artifacts. The bulk of the museum is located in the main room. Number 8. Galata Tower The Galata Tower is an iconic landmark that is a draw for a large range of visitors to Istanbul. Galata Tower is one of the most prominent architectural landmarks of Turkey. It offers an impressive 360-degree view of the entire city. In clear weather, you will see the Prince's Island from the top of this high structure. This medieval monument is magnificently situated in the center of the region. Galata Tower has a significant position in the city of Istanbul. Galata Tower sits at the height of 67 meters. A restaurant and a cafe at the peak of the building offer you a beautiful view of the area. The tower houses a restaurant and hotel on board. Additionally, there is a souvenir shop beside the ticket center. To capture the best panoramic view of the area, you need to take the elevator to the peak of the building and ascend three levels. The cafe has a relaxed and vibrant environment that visitors may appreciate. Number 7. Dolomabace Palace The Dolomabace Palace is assumed to be the primary house of the Ottoman royalty, located on the Bosphorus Strait. Hagia Sophia acts as a big part of Ottoman heritage in Turkey. The palace is designed with elements of the neoclassical, baroque, and rococo styles. It was the last home of the Ottomans in Turkey. This palace was richly decorated. There were more than 14 tons of gold, including the roof itself. There are several large sets of crystal chandeliers in the palace. As a matter of truth, the ceremonial hall's chandelier is the largest such chandelier in the nation. There are also crystals and stones used for the decoration. The palace has a wide and amazing selection of art by many European and Turkish painters. Such tours provided tourists with a unique opportunity to move around the convincing palace of Ataturk. Number 6. Basilica Cistern Cistern Basilica is considered to be the main cistern under the city of Istanbul, Turkey. Located 150 meters southwest of Hagia Sophia is the ancient peninsula of Sarebunu, the largest cistern of Istanbul, constructed under the Stoa Basilica. It has hundreds of walls adorned with pillars, a stunning piece of art. The Great Cistern is the largest remaining cistern in the region. The system was built to service the Great Palace, which could accommodate 80,000 cubic meters of water. Water. The remarkable thing about the cistern is its accuracy. It has a total of 14 marble columns that are decorated with different icons and organized into 12 rows of 14 columns, spaced by precisely 4.9 meters. Today, 
the cistern is very dry, and little water is available. It is a rather odd thing here that two columns literally represented the head of Medusa. Number 5. Soleimani Mosque, the biggest mosque in Istanbul. Established in 1557, Raffles Museum is another prominent landmark of Istanbul. The Soleimani Mosque is yet another impressive building in Istanbul. It is such an incredible site. It was designed by one of the finest architects of the time period. The mosque complex had many services such as clinics, Quran and primary schools, public baths, and others. It features several domes, including the largest one at the front with the mosque situated on each corner. The marble columns are easily visible on the outside of the house. The interiors of the house were unique in design. The bits of insect tiles are used minimally, but it gives off an ample aura. The mirab is incredibly unassuming in its elegance and is constructed of white marble. The buttresses were incorporated into the walls to expand the mosque even further. The woodwork is also not too ornate, and you can see the diligent work that went into making the utilitarian spectacular. Number 4. Grand Bazaar The Grand Bazaar has the historical hub of commerce in Istanbul. This is one of the biggest protected markets in the country. Grand Bazaar is an ideal location to finish Istanbul tours, as visitors come and go to buy souvenirs for their families and friends. It's considered one of the busiest markets in the entire world. The Grand Bazaar is one of the best representations of shopping malls worldwide. The market has been renovated several times over its expansive existence. The bazaar walls are finely painted with ceilings and intricate stonework. All the shops carry out the specifications on the list. The Sihaverbesten has important furniture and ceramics from the ancient period. Around 250,000 to 400,000 persons visit the city market every day. This store is open every working day of the week. Number 3. Blue Mosque Often recognized as the Blue Mosque, the Sultan Ahmed Mosque is an Ottoman mosque situated in Istanbul, Turkey. A functional mosque has the benefits of being able to accommodate a substantial number of international tourists. It was built by Ahmed I during his term as governor. The immense mosque right next to Hagia Sophia's carvings and ceilings can inspire you. The mosque was founded by Sultan Ahmed in 1616 to display the influence of the Ottoman Empire. It is called the most scenic building in Istanbul, together with the beautiful nature inside the frame. The mosque receives its unofficial nickname from the immense amount of Turkish blue insect tiles on its interior. There are about 200 stained glass windows that provide natural light through the various sections of the building. The entire mirab is carved out of marble. Number 2. Topkapi Palace The Topkapi Palace is a splendid complex that has acted as the main residence of the Ottoman sultans for approximately 400 years. It continues to be one of the most important museums in Istanbul. It is a must-see destination in Istanbul that unites the past and the landscape in an experience that is not to be hurried. Sultan Mehmed II began construction of the palace soon after the capture of Constantinople in 1453 and died in 1481 while staying in the palace. The objects in exhibition at the Palace Museum nowadays may be the rarest in the Muslim world. Within the palace complex, there are several hundred rooms, halls, and chambers, which are all locked. There are so many points of interest in this immense facility. The most prominent characteristic of the Imperial Palace Garden is the first courtyard. The second courtyard is built in the center, and it has the Imperial carriages, the Imperial Palace kitchens, the Imperial stables, and treasury, the Imperial Gate of Felicity, and the third courtyard, which contains the miniature and portrait room. Number 1. Hagia Sophia the Hagia Sophia is a marvel of Roman architecture, with its immense dome that originally covered the largest enclosed area in the world. The Hagia Sophia was formerly a church, a mosque, and nowadays it is a museum. It is among the biggest attractions in the region. The Hagia Sophia is a monument to extraordinary magnificence. It is also known as the best example of Byzantine architecture. And after a visit, you will understand why. The site has numerous features that are exceptional. And at the entrance, you are surrounded by spectacular covers, marble, and columns. The cathedral became the biggest cathedral in the world and stood as such for a millennium until Seville Cathedral was done in 1520. The church has acted as a cathedral of Greek Orthodox religion, Roman Catholics, and even a mosque. 
It was turned into the Museum of Fine Arts in 1935 by Kamal Ataturk. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.